Is it? As it's mainly a scene here. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Oh, uh, this stars John Slatterly, Slattery, Zach Guilford, and Gabriel, Gabriel Union in various forms of undress. When Brooklynite Seth takes his girlfriend Andy to his family's weekend house in upstate New York, and upstate New York again, mm, wow. for a romantic getaway, they are unexpectedly joined by his estranged father, Gil, and his much younger new girlfriend, Vicky. The women carefully negotiate emotional minefields as they persuade father and son to share the house for the first time since the summer vacations of Seth's childhood. This unexpected family reunion in the great outdoors, fraught, Ed, it's fraught with tensions, old and new, pushes them all to realize the bonds of family are always stronger and stranger than expected. I have no rating on this film, but I can guess there's uh, language and thematic material <laughs> and uh, some kind of brief nudity <laughs> and uh, maybe someone smoking. <laughs> it's the clip. It was, it was uh, listed as trailer, but it's a scene from an independent film. It's an entire scene that we're seeing? Yes. Hi, I'm Gil. Apparently the father has a surprise as the, the young uh, son, I guess it is, mm -hmm. uh, has a surprise as he brings his girlfriend home for the first time. Right. And dad's surprise <laughs> walks in the door. Oh, <laughs> now that's double shocking, Ed. Wow. She's young and tan. <laughs> right. <laughs> Guess who's coming to dinner, Ed? Gabrielle Union. There she is. Right Sam. off of the failed Night Stalker remake. No. Oh. Was brought in and never on the original but, series. But well, they couldn't make this more of a contrast, boy. Look at his white hair, as white as it can be. And as white as snow. Oh, like Jack Frost. <laughs> from the fine Santa's shows <laughs> that you'll be seeing later. <laughs> as, as they all start popping up on the TV. Oh. Nothing like the holiday season. There's nothing like it, Ed. I, I agree with you. you it know. was up the day after Halloween yeah. in your local stores. They took a long time getting the Halloween stuff up this year at Walmart, though. Well, I'll tell you, where I work, there's a Hallmark store. At the end of hmm. August, they were putting out the Christmas ornaments. And I was shocked. And I even said to the proprietor, I said, o August? And mm -hmm. you have Christmas? He goes, I'm putting them out because they buy them. Yes. So there you have it, folks. You have no one to blame but yourself. you got to buy them early because there's a lot that uh, you might like. Mm -hmm. And they're $15 at least a shot, and you have to spread it out over several paychecks. That's right. They, they might have layaway for the ornaments. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them you do have to get early. Like I got my uh, uh, Clark Griswold moose glass early. <laughs> <laughs> Remember the Christmas vacation there, drinking the Marty the moose? Yes. Glasses with Cousin Eddie, mm -hmm. that is an ornament now. And I, <laughs> Everything's an ornament now. <laughs> it is. Now, had I gotten the original Cousin Eddie's van, I did not get that after Christmas because it was sold out and now going for $200 oh, on eBay. Wow, you missed out. I Ed. missed out on Cousin Eddie's I, van. You missed out on a capitalist, capitalistic venture. And the second year... The Griswold house that was all decorated. I missed out mm -hmm. on that one. I was uh, on the ball last year <laughs> and bought the Griswold uh, uh, family camper, whatever they called it. The, okay. uh, no, the station wagon. With okay, the tree yeah. attached yeah. to it. And I have my cousin Eddie <laughs> class for this year. Be seeing that after Christmas down here. The fine, festive Ed household. Yes. We'll be filming from my house this year, the Christmas show. Are we? We should do a oh. segment anyway. All right, go With ahead. the tree in high def, we there can you do. Let me know so I can miss it. <laughs> You'll miss what, the taping yes. of the holiday? Yes. It, it won't last an hour and a half to, or six hours. <laughs> six hours. <laughs> this has been a six-hour shoot between the shows so far. Right. We're going to add to that. <laughs> I can't, I can't believe we're going to do that, but we got to do it. It's got to be done, Dave. Oh. It's either that or come back the next week. We're already here. Oh. The equipment is outside. If it hasn't blown over and broken yet. <laughs> <We're> frozen. <laughs> <We're> frozen. <laughs> is the fog machine still out there? That's out there. It's going to take an hour to warm that up. No fog on these next scenes.
Well, so we'll see how it goes. Oh, dear. Dear God. And there's only 15 minutes mm. left of the show. Uh, we did all the movies. We did. I think we did. I think okay. you only have two. Two movies. We That's have it. DVD releases. DVD releases. Let's talk as long as we possibly can on these. What is this? Dark Knight Rises. Dark never saw Knight it. Rises was a good movie. Was it? Saw that uh, a couple week after. After the tragedy, Dave. Oh, yes, that's Keeping right. Keeping my eye on the exit doors. <laughs> <laughs> that was at a point where they were bringing in the colony police on the Friday and Saturday night showings. Oh, where? At the colony center? Colony center, yeah. Finding Nemo. Just out in September in 3D. With uh, Ellen Degenerate and, <laughs> and Albert Brooks and... and couple other people that I know of I can't think of right now. Hmm. I think Dennis Leary, maybe. Oh, God. This was just out in the theater. This was the one about the young kid that grows in the backyard. Yes, yes they, wa they water him in areas. Remember I asked if it was going to have a downer ending? I think, doesn't it? And apparently it does mm -hmm. because somebody posted on YouTube, uh, Parents... Their little kid was very upset about the ending, mm -hmm. and they said, uh, "What did you think about the ending?" And they, put the parents torturing the kid, the kid crying in the back seat of the car. Oh, I don't want Timothy to die. Oh. <laughs> well, can't you just plant a new one? He probably could. It's a Disney film too. Oh, a great classic from uh, '80s, I believe. That's been out of print for a long time, so you better scoop this up now, the first Silent Night, Deadly Night. Okay. Remember, there was a big brouhaha uh, that was getting pulled out of theaters at mm -hmm. the time because people were complaining about a Santa killing people. Do you remember that, producer? Yeah. So I, they responded by making a second one. And a third and a fourth. And a third and fourth. They're, not in this, <laughs> they're not in this one. Silent Night, Deadly Night. I think the Lin Linnea Quigley was in that Elf Man? Uh -huh. Oh, no. With, uh, is it Wee Man in there? Not Jeffrey Combs from Reanimator? Yes. I think that's Wee Man. And what's Mackenzie Austin? Uh, I don't know who that is. Christmas? I think it is Wee Man, yep. Uh, Christmas has a new hero. Yes, Elf Man. Elf Man. Probably. Oh, is it? Aston? It's Aston. Mackenzie Aston. All right, well. That Finally looks... seeing some work in the director video Elf Man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and that's it. That's it for DVD releases, and we're in that magical 10 minutes to go. How come... I haven't been putting a lot of games together lately. How come we seem to be running out of material? Maybe there's fewer films that we're doing, which... I think so. You know, when you have those eight-minute trailers... And uh, I'll read, it takes a while to get through it. But we only have two films. Sometimes we'd have four. Right. And that would, uh, then you'd have to, then you have to rush through. We don't want to rush through. We want no. you to get all the information, to make an informed decision in the films you want to see. Remind me after we tape, Dave, it might be a good idea to plug in our camera battery because we might have a couple shots that, uh, probably not, that we want to use the battery for. Okay. You know how fast these batteries go, because we were shooting in the cemetery. Yes. <laughs> Apparently this lasts only 20 minutes. These high-def batteries, they, I guess you can get the uh, other ones, but they're pricey. And I think they're as much <laughs> as we got to spend on our <laughs> batteries, are about $60. Our budget. Now and Then game. We want to go back to the Now and Then? We haven't finished that. We've done it on the past two shows. And it's always fun. Thank God that's been hanging around, because I did that about four months ago. 